And, you know, she was so good at the national championships, but I spoke with Mary Lee before the competition began, and she said that JC was really nervous, and they worked a lot on being more confident at this competition. Amy Chow, who is fourth, entering the second rotation. Well, you know, Amy Chow did not practice the morning of the compulsory event, and she didn't practice again. This is something that her coach wants to keep consistent in her practice. This is a wild routine, a lot of originality and difficulty. And it is beautiful. Oh, look at that. Great combination. She has had a lot of back problems. I was talking to her in the training room the other day, and she was getting a lot of therapy on her lower back. Look at this. These are called stalter skills. Absolutely beautiful gymnastics. Not just your run-of-the-mill standard gymnastics elements. This is this is gorgeous. And the best is yet to come. Check out this dismount. It will go by very quickly. Two twists, two saltos. She graduated from high school this spring with a perfect 4.0. Is an accomplished pianist has taken lessons for 11 years and obviously has had some gymnastics lessons because that was near perfect. Amy Chow on the bars will wait for her score. We will be right back. Amy Chow score on even bars, 9-8-2-5. And that is well-deserved. She had some hot tricks in that routine and a great dismount. Christy Powell is looking at the vault. She has been fighting to get out of 11th place. She's had a hard time in compulsories. I told you about that. John, this is a place where she can get a little bit back. She's a great vaulter here. I can't tell you, though, how many times I have seen Christy warm up this vault flawlessly, four or five times in warm-ups, and then in the meet, it just isn't quite as good. That's something that she's really got to improve on. She has the goods. She's just got to deliver when it counts. Difficult vault here. One and a half twist. She definitely, one in the bank for oh, her. She delivers. That's a, that's a safe one. She's coached by, there's Tom Forrester. She's coached by Tom and Lori Forrester. And she compulsory. She is so aggressive on this vault. It's a very difficult blind approach. Your chankle, there's the round off before the beat board. Reaches back onto the horse. Good height, good lift. One and a half twist, blind landing. That's the only problem area right there. Yeah, and great form in the air as well. Like Elfie said, though, the only thing she has to improve on is that small, little, bitty hop. And she's got one in the bank, so she should be going 100%. Over her shoulder there, you may have seen Bella Caroli and Carrie Strzok readying themselves for the key bars, the uneven bars, rather, routine. If I were her coach, I would say right now that you have got to either... Let's listen to it for a second. Aggressive action, okay? So don't slow down the rhythm. Good, good. Press. Fast press, then you are very good. Okay, back on the other side of the gym, Christy is now ready. But I tell her that she either needs to sit this vault down or stick it cold. There's the first vault, 9825, Tim. Small step forward isn't going to help her cause at all. Let's go for it all. I'd say the first one was the better vault. 16-year-old Christy Powell in the arms now of Tom Forster. He has had his times during these championships. Had Powell fall off the bars, compulsory, Skolkowski fell off the beam. Now here's Barry. Here's a gymnast who has really grown up. We keep talking about how mature she has become. You know, she says her body is the same as it was four years ago. The only difference is her mental attitude. And boy, it's on. She's always trained with the best as well. Trained with two world champions. First, Kim Zanesco, the Bella Crowley's, and then with Shannon Miller at Stephen Mills. She's always been in the shadow of other gymnasts. And up until this very moment, she was, of course, in Dominique Mociano's shadow. But now, Dominique watches from the stand. She was ne oh. near perfect on her first event, but oh. a little bit of a problem. That's not going to get a 995. 
but in third position entering this rotation unless she makes some more serious breaks she is still likely someone who will be going to the game there he is Terry Struggs coach Dominique Mochiano's coach this is Dominique Mochiano's four centimeter stress fracture we have a picture of it an x-ray actually there it is it's on her right tibia so she cannot run tumble vault or bounce she's rehabilitating with cardiovascular training a bone enhancer and she's getting plenty of sunshine for vitamin d but even as dominique heals she and bella both worry about the future She believes in me, and uh, you know that that's hard on me. That's that's the hardest on me. She looks at me, and, and, and I mean, I see that the little brown eyes, big and my gosh, you know, my heart is breaking. My heart is is, is realistically breaking uh, because I know I know what's going on through her mind. You know, help me. How in the world I can help you, honey? Now. This thing had to happen now, and I don't know why it did. You know, this is my dream to go to the Olympics, and I can't, you know, do anything about it. Sorry. will be down the drain and I won't have, you know, I won't be for sure on the team and I've been working all my life for this, so it's really hard on me right now. In mother and daughter, you see the helplessness. They share the weight as they too have shared the dream. to be there you know I want to be there and I'm training and doing everything I can and getting it healed as soon as possible with my vitamins and everything trying to get it strong the bone and that's all I can do is pray that you know they'll let me go on the team I want them to know that I'm training and doing everything possible and so does Bella but this time even the great coach is somewhat helpless If I could give my, my leg and borrow my leg, I would do it uh, in this particular situation. I, I really would. You know, I, probably is a stupid statement, but I would really help anything what I could, you know, this kid uh, on this particular moment. It's breaking my heart. She is so much more than just his athlete, so much more like a daughter. I, I do love her. Yes, I do love her. Mm-hmm. 